Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. This is the 1956 uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Um, a lot of people like to refer to these as the oval rear window. Um, in an earlier video, we were sharing with you all the work that we were doing to the back section and the rear apron engine bay area on this oval window. Now we've moved our focus to the front end. Um, you can recall in an earlier video where we shared with you the, uh, the difference between the old apron and the new replacement apron and then all the kind of homemade patches that were done uh, to this front section. And we can just move our attention to this front nose area. Um, in a previous video, um, I shared with you where I thought we were going to be able to hammer and dolly and, and rework this. So at some point in its life, it's been in a frontal collision because um, you can see a lot of, um, and someone else has done quite a bit of this work, so you can see where it's kinked here and it's, it's tilted out. And then in these strengthened areas, uh, you can see where there's a lot of distortion and a lot of dents and so on. So they, they try to get it kind of close or closer than what it was from the factory. Um, and then we've got a lot of corrosion in here and in the back side of both sections. So I was able to find, and it was quite a hard find, uh, these are um, an upgraded um, replacement panel and uh, it's an excellent reproduction. Um, and in the back of this you can see where we have the fender speed nuts are assembled. We have the correct factory stamping and we even have the metal tag that folds over uh, when we have the wiring loom coming in and we even have the hole here for the speedo. Um, and then we also have our bracket, our reinforced bracket um, with the speed nuts inside when they go to install the bumper later on. Um, the reason why we went with these replacement panels, not only the corrosion, but the distortion, it's so far distorted in this front nose, it's probably hard to see now because we haven't moved this bracket yet. This bracket is spot welded on and this is for the uh, factory horn position. So we'll be drilling these spot welds out and removing it because we'll have to uh, relocate it to the replacement panel. Um, but you can see um, the difference. There's quite a difference. I guess that bracket's going to be in the way. Um, but between the two, uh, we don't have the wrinkling or the damage that we have. Um, but it's actually the alignment of this panel is in a different position. It's actually... Uh, brings the, the front of this nose further out um, and in the correct position. So a lot of times when there's collision damage like this, if it's just slight in the front edge, we can hammer and dolly it out, we can reposition things. But when you have this much damage this far back, it's actually changed um, the overall uh, positioning of items. And that's why the fender wasn't fitting very well and the hood was badly distorted. So we have uh, both the driver's side replacement panel and the passenger side replacement panel. So we'll share with you in an upcoming video um, as we go to dry fit these different components on. There's a lot of measuring and marking that will have to take place but we'll end up replacing uh, basically from here forward everything will be brand new on this 56 Beetle. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com